we're going to look at exporting data from an Excel file into a comma separated variable file. So a comma separated variable file or a CSV file is just a text file where the variables are delineated by commas. So for that we're going to use this data set called Leadfish. It is lead concentrations that have been measured from samples of fish uh, from a river in the US in 1999 and there's data for three different species of fish. So there are three variables, the species of fish, that's a qualitative variable, the lead concentrations themselves, these numbers, they're quantitative continuous variables, and then the, the source of the sample, whether it came from a fillet of fish or whether it came from a whole fish, and that's another qualitative variable. So as it stands, this data is poorly organized for reading into a computer. Best practice would be that each variable is stored in a separate column and then every row is an individual observation. And here we see that, well first of all, uh, the leadfish concentrations are scattered across six columns and the, the species are scattered across six columns. It just is, this would be very difficult to read into a computer. So I've gone away and I've reorganized this um, in a more kind of acceptable format for reading into a computer. So this cleaned up data set now just has three columns for the, th the three variables. We have the uh, a header line in the first row here giving the names of the variables and then all the data appears underneath. And then this, this will be much easier to read into R. Um, we can export this into a CSV file uh, and it will still be relatively well organized. So to export to CSV we select the file option in Excel and click save as and then rather than saving it as an Excel format we want to click on the save as type and scroll down the list of different format types until you should see somewhere uh, the option of CSV command limited. We select that and, and click save. Now Excel is going to warn you that uh, this text format isn't going to save everything as an Excel format can, but that's fine. We don't want all the whistles and bells of Excel, we just want a simple text file. So we click yes. And that's it, you should have your text file now saved on your computer.